exposure was <laughs> two microseconds for the first three, 0.5 microseconds for the last one. Perhaps this one is the most interesting. I don't have time probably to discuss all of them in detail. Uh, what you can see here is the very last step, just before the attachment process. The length of that step is labeled L here. And this is probably the burst of streamers <coughs> that occurs at the end of the step formation process. Also, you can see an output connecting leader, positive leader on the opposite uh, electrode, which was a rod on a plane, grounded plane. And uh, it's not well reproduced here, but actually there is a very faint uh, filament already connecting at this point, the descending leader and upper connecting leader. So this is the very beginning of the breakthrough of the signal to what we discussed before. The final topic of this presentation X-rays. Uh, lightning generated X-rays, they have energy, usually have uh, energies up to 250 keV for both dust leaders, dust step and dust step leaders, also for natural lightning leaders. And uh, uh, you can convert uh, this uh, energy to frequency in order to use this frequency scale uh, using the plant constant and you will get for 250 keV, six times 10 to the 19 hertz. So we are someplace here, actually it's probably uh, gamma radiation labeled in this graph, but there is no well-defined boundary between X-ray gamma ray depends if you ask. And uh, I'm going to show just three slides uh, for X-rays. This is the first one, shows uh, the very first document of X-ray radiation from that leaders in order to the taken from paper by wire all in the science magazine. Uh, there are three panels here, all shown on a 1.5 millisecond scale, plus minus 750 microseconds. This is the electric field waveform, kind of V-shaped signature, asymmetrical V-shaped signature. That leader returns four, returns four is at time zero. This uh, broken line indicates the time of the return stroke. Here, measured in the channel base, was more than 20 uh, kilograms, a little bit uh, larger than typical. And finally, the X-ray is here, and uh, uh, this is the time of the return stroke, and all the X-rays recorded in this case, starting 160 microseconds before the return stroke. Uh, they are associated with the leader, the uh, final phase of the leader process and some may be associated with the attachment process at the beginning of the return stroke. Uh, later, similar measurements were obtained for step leaders in nature lighting. Uh, there are two events shown here, totally different events. Uh, one on the right, the other on the left. This one is easier to explain. This is electric field of 60 microsecond time scale and time zero has time scale. And the X-ray pulses are here at each step, uh, which is the length of the electric field, corresponds to the first step. more complex, but shows essentially the same thing as for the people. Finally, a uh, very recent measurement, uh, last July, uh, these measurements were performed in the input, not the standard employee, there for nature life. And uh, they reported a, a total of uh, 14 strokes that could use x-rays within two kilometers of the uh, x-ray detector that was provided by John Weir of Florida Civil Technologies is another collaboration uh, we have. Uh, for each panel, uh, this is for stroke number one, stroke number three, stroke number five. So all within the same flash. Strokes number two and number four are not shown because they produce no x-rays, no detectable the time scale is uh, 200 microseconds across. The first stroke occurred at time zero, and this uh, red block line indicates the formation of the uh, Information on in each panel is uh, uh, taken from uh, NLDN database, big term estimate, 47 to 43, 48. Also, the distance of the order of a kilometer, 962, 900, and this is 1.4. And uh, LD is leader duration, measured from corresponding electric uh, 
45 milliseconds, this is clearly step in of those steps. This is 158 microseconds. This is a double, this is subsequent code following the same channel. So the middle duration is short, it cannot be new termination of graph to follow the same channel. Here, 368 microseconds, middle duration. So, two observations can be made. The first one, not every stroke is in the same flash, which means same distance, same channel, geometry, produces effectively less rays. Some produce quite large, uh, so the scale is in uh, MDE, and uh, some produce none, others produce quite significantly. Also, subsequent strokes sometimes are more prolific X-ray producers than corresponding first strokes. For example, here, there are three pulses only. The third one is actually not seen in reproduction, but we count the three. In this case, uh, we count the three. So this is a subsequent stroke, and this is the first one. Another example, and the last, the last one, from the same thunderstorm, stroke number one, stroke number two, stroke number three. And uh, again, stroke number three produced lots and lots of uh, X-ray pulses, actually more than 100. Uh, this one produced just two. This one produced uh, 10 or 12. So stroke number one, again, is less uh, prolific producer of X-rays. Uh, peak current is 50 kiloamps. This one is 55 kiloamps. So in terms of, we have found actually a strong correlation between return stroke peak current and uh, uh, the probability of uh, production of X-rays. In this case, uh, the peak current is about the same. The channel is the same because of either direction is indicative of uh, propagation along the same channel. And this one produces again all 100, and this one another magnitude less. I guess I'm uh, running out of uh, my time, and uh, uh, instead of making an overall summary, I'll just say that uh, uh, I presented uh, information for different parts of the spectrum. The most uh, uh, efficient way to do lightning research is to uh, perform observations in uh, multiple parts of the spectrum, to record wide band electric fields, to record VHF radiation, to record uh, energetic radiation, X rays, and gamma rays for the same lightning beam charges, and that should provide uh, new insights like physics and like mechanisms. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for your comprehensive and nice talk. Yeah, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, the last slide they show the X-ray from the natural stroke. So what's the distance? You say you show the nine hundred. For for example, so last one. Yeah. Uh, the distance here is seven hundred seventy-six meters. Yeah. This one seven hundred forty-seven meters. These are distances reported by the NLD. Okay. Okay. The uh, NLD error, the median error is uh, uh, 200 meters, 300 meters. Uh, there used to be about 500 meters. They recently introduced some improvements. Now it is uh, uh, about 300 meters. So there is some uncertainty. So I believe that the differences here and here are not real. They are just because of limited accuracy of the operating system. So you don't have any uh, optical recording, for example, video recording? This is correct. At this time, there are, uh, there are no optical records. In the future, we plan to Another question regarding the uh, SCMF model, left downwards and you know, in long gap, for this kind of current. Yeah, you, you show the, the stem. Yeah, the stem, for example, the right figure is to use uh, uh, the, the first step, it seems uh, moving downward. But for the, the, the stem, mm -hmm. the next step, so I mean, the, the, for the third step, the, the stem is produced at a point. It didn't move for the, I'll say for the, the first, for the first stem, I see the stem moving down. 
The stamp here is represented by this broken line. 